Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia for the Romantic Home and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys my fun and fabulous patio makeover. So I was inspired by the new Barbie movie that is coming out to grab some spray paint and some inexpensive goodies from Dollar Tree Michaels and I did order some things off of Amazon and I will link them in the description box below for you guys to find some of your own fun and fabulous goodies. Um, and just remember anything that I share with you guys on this channel you can change up the paint color or the flowers to make it suit your decor. So I had a ton of old like lawn furniture and it just was really shabby. I've had it since the kids were growing up. Um, as I become an empty nester, I'm really embracing my own little style for my home. And so I thought, why not um, transform my patio to make it look like a Barbie Malibu dream house patio. Um, and I did it on a budget. So if you guys want to um, follow along with me on this patio makeover, I will continue to tweak things. We'll decorate for fall and Christmas and also check out all of my videos. This is my fifth season on YouTube and I do a ton of Dollar Tree and inexpensive budget friendly DIYs. I'm thankful, thankful, thankful to have you guys here. It is a blessing and an honor to craft and decorate and to share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into how I transformed my fun and fabulous patio on a total budget. Let's get into it. Okay, it is time to take my patio from drab to fab. So starting out, I have my trusty assistant Benji Bear a big giant thing of bear paint. It is in the color Beauty Queen and we are going to start out by transforming these patio stones that go kind of around my pool and down the little walkway. Here is my trusty assistant Benji Bear and I did two coats of concrete bear paint again and it's in the color Beauty Queen. I wanted that wonderful Barbie bright pink but listen, you guys can transform your little stones um, using any paint color. Um, concrete paint though works really well for this. It's very du durable and I just loved how easy it was for it to go on and to dry and I just used an old paintbrush and I went to town and I probably painted about 20 of these flat stepping stones. I got the stepping stones, the concrete stepping stones you can find at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, and they were about $1.57 at our um, local hardware store. So I already had a bunch of them and I went ahead and transformed them. I have to give you guys a quick little break. Here are my son's puppy dogs. They're both Aussies. We have Theo and Archie and then Benji Bear is my puppy dog over there. I got them this little um, $12 kitty pool <laughs> at Dollar General. It has been a hundred degrees where we are at and Theo this is baby Theo the black one the black Aussie he absolutely loves swimming so you can see some of my stones are done this took about a week long to do I did take a couple days off to get everything done okay so from Walmart I had these planters um, it's towards the middle of the summer season and rather than spend money on live plants I went to Dollar Tree and I got a bundle of the pink and white lilies I felt like these would be really festive for my little Barbie Malibu patio makeover I clipped them off and for this I probably used about 10 little bundles um, and there's like four to five uh, picks per bundle so um, I'm just dropping them in here I probably will go back this is actually real dirt you guys have probably seen me a fake garden before <laughs> so this might not be new to me but if you're new to your new to my channel yes I'm getting older and I can't always keep up with everything including my plants so I do a little bit of fake gardening here or there especially because we have 100 degree temperatures and it's very difficult to keep things alive in our summer heat where I am at and so rather than spend money on plants that could possibly die while I'm on vacation or if I forget one day they will just bite the dust I am using these pretty lilies they're going to stay beautiful for the rest of this season and you know sometimes they'll even stay beautiful for a couple of seasons depending upon how much um you know TLC they get or if they get swept up into uh, a little windstorm or whatnot but anyway I'm just fake gardening planting these in to my little planter thing and my little planter container is from Walmart it was ten dollars I bought it at the beginning of the season so I'm not for sure if they have any of these left but I just thought this might inspire you guys to grab a fun little planter and create a faux little flower garden that will last for at least the rest of the season 
season. I'm not kidding you guys. I got behind on my gardening this season. Didn't buy my petunias that I really usually buy. I buy pretty pink petunias and they do really beautiful and get super big. I was just busy with other projects this season and um, yeah, went to Walmart and they didn't have any live flowers left. I guess um, my hairdresser said that they have some at Lowe's and Home Depot. So I guess if I want to find something, I could uh, possibly check there, but it is the middle of the summer season and it's really hot. And these are gonna be beautiful for a while and they're gonna be so perfect for my Barbie little Malibu um, patio dream house makeover project that I'm doing. I can't wait to share with you guys where I'm putting them and the final reveal. So keep watching here. Stay with me. The next thing I wanted to tackle was some of this patio furniture. I'm using Candy Pink. This is the 2X spray paint by Rust-Oleum. You get it at Walmart. And I used two cans per chair. Um, and I had three chairs to do. Now I had a larger settee or love seat as so you call it. And I did end up using about four cans on that. So here is what one can looks like. I flipped the furniture over into the back side of it first. Here is the finished project after two cans. I think it is looking beautiful. It, the, you know, the old green had definitely seen better days and I've really been wanting to do something um, with these chairs forever. So from the Dollar Tree, I got these little chair cushions. They are $5 in the Dollar Tree Plus section, but there are a ton of stores right now that have sales on their patio furniture chairs. I could use some fluffier ones, but hey, I'm using what I have. Okay, I did order these outdoor pillows on Amazon. So they're outdoor pillow stuffing and outdoor pink stripe pillow covers. I have an Amazon storefront. It's Olivia's Romantic Home Amazon. I will put them in my Amazon storefront for you guys, or I'll try to leave a link in my stories on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so here are all the little pillows I ordered. Uh, four of them and then I'll show you guys the final, the final reveal. Here's some more patio furniture that needed a makeover. I used this hot pink. Um, it's also by Rust-Oleum 2X and I want to say it's a berry pink. I'll try to look at the can um, and let you guys know for sure what color it is but it's the hot pink that you guys see. It's not quite as bright as the Beauty Queen um, stepping stone paint that I used but I'm just really using what I have available to me in the store. So it's a little bit more of a muted uh, Barbie pink. There's my little assistant, uh, Baby Theo. So I spray painted that furniture. Now from Walmart in their dollar section, they have these little cute, they reminded me of the Malibu Barbie dream house, their placemats. So I'm using this thrifted outdoor table to put in front of my um, patio furniture, which I'm gonna reveal everything to you guys. Um, for you to see, but I'm just trying to give you guys the DIY steps on everything. So I'm just gonna set this little table kind of with these placemats. I'm using four of them. They're $1.50 each at Walmart and they come in a two pack and they're in the Walmart dollar section. So our Walmart has this like dollar section now. Anyway, and it's the super center is where I found these. So they're so cute though. They're pink and orange stripe. So I'm just setting this little thrifted table and then I'm taking my cute little lily basket that I created my fake gardening and I'm just going to make it a centerpiece on this table. How adorable is that? It's so festive and it reminds me so much of Barbie Malibu dream house or just kind of an Aloha Florida um, type Hawaii coffee table. I'm popping some flickering flameless candles that I got off Amazon onto the table. Now I also ordered from Amazon. This is just a backdrop and it's kind of like a a vinyl. It's not like the thin plastic like a tablecloth. It's kind of more of a thicker vinyl. I have these clips from Dollar Tree that I'm clipping it to the top part of my fence. And then from Walmart, I have these beach chairs and they're pink and white striped. I just felt like that they would be perfect. Um, this is very early in the morning, so I don't have any makeup on. I'm not ready, but I'm finishing up this project to share with you guys. It was definitely a labor of love. I found these pink stones at um, Walmart Garden Center. I painted those and pushed those to the bottom of the fence so the little um, backdrop doesn't um, 
pull up. And then I'm just hanging my little pink beach chairs on either side of the backdrop. And that's also gonna keep the backdrop to kind of stay down. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking these Hobby Lobby topiaries and I'm adding some Dollar Tree goodies to make it feel a little bit more fun and festive. So from the Dollar Tree, I found these pink flamingos. They're so adorable and super kind of cheesy, but hey, we're doing this Barbie Malibu back patio. So that's what we're gonna roll with. I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree um, fake lilies and I'm just popping them into the topiary. So you guys can just really pop these little lilies into anywhere. And it's just gonna make your patio or front yard or whatever your space you're working on feel just a little bit more festive. Now, if you don't care for lilies and you're not doing an Aloha theme, you guys can use any type of flower that you can find at Dollar Tree. Just pick the color that you love and add that to your little garden goodies. So here is how this is looking so far. I added one bundle to each topiary and then a little flamingo at the base of my topiaries. I painted the top of this little topiary pink and I still needed to finish up and do the other one. Um, but this is how this is looking. I feel like this DIY is so easy and cute and makes it look very fun and festive. And the next thing I wanted to do was add these pink and white striped um, little towels to the ends of my patio furniture i'm not going to paint my patio furniture pink i wish i could find you know some slip covers for the outdoor furniture but that might be a stretch so i thought a remedy would be to just add some pink and white tiles to the end the next thing from the dollar tree i grabbed was this little pail it's a sand pail and i zip tied it to the side of my ladder because i don't have a table and i'm always needing to reapply sunscreen and then a little towel so i can wipe my phone off and check my messages or whatnot and then the next thing I ordered off of Amazon were these cute pink heart floaties I think they were about $12 and I'll also try to link these in my Amazon store they just made my pool look really cute and festive and my channel name is Olivia's romantic home so I thought that would be fun you can also get these little pink flamingo chlorine tablet holders off of Amazon. And again, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Amazon storefront and I will try to link everything in that storefront for you guys. So now I'm gonna grab my little thrifted Snow White mug and come out and survey everything that I have done and share this with you guys. I found these pillows off from Michael's, so they were fun. And then I bought a little bone for Benji Bear, my puppy dog. I also got these festive towels from Walmart. Walmart has all kinds of pretty kind of Barbie colored towels. And then there's the doggy towel. I hung two nails outside of my patio and that way I can hang my towels and my little beach hat. So here is how my Malibu Barbie dream house back patio turned out. I also added those little green carpet squares. You can find those at Home Depot. And then the cute little Dollar Tree um, pinwheel flowers. And then again, the little doggy pool or baby pool is $12 at the Dollar General. I also had painted that little pink stool that is next to um, the little uh, furniture and then the pink cups and saucers and plates are 50 cents each at walmart right now and again there's other colors and combinations you guys can get to create your personalized aloha malibu um, dream house back patio you could always do purples or blues oh i also got the little umbrella from walmart that's in the, like the tropical color that that was really cute and it was pretty Pretty slim pickings I'm gonna tell you at all of you know the Walmart Dollar Tree everywhere and even Michael's they only had a couple cushions so I really had to get creative and I really to make this all come together used a lot of just paint and re um, use things that I already had so here is another um, pan around from the back side of it facing the pool I do leave my pool stairs outside of my pool. Um, my puppy dogs, that my son's dogs, like to climb up it and try to jump in. So they can't get into it if it's outside the pool, we found out. And we do keep an eye on them also. And that way also, if anybody were to wander into our yard, you couldn't get directly into the pool. Now here is baby Theo and Archie. <laughs> These again are my son's puppy dogs and he, they are so funny. He loves water. He loves it when I fill his pool. I love the 
this little cute pink pool. I couldn't believe I was able to find any baby pools because where I'm at, it is so hot and it was 4th of July weekend when I was working on this project. So anyway, and here they are just kind of playing with each other. They're so absolutely adorable. I just had to pop them into the video. I thought you guys would get a kick out of it. So I have a new giveaway to announce to you guys and it is going to be a giveaway for my sweet friend Natalie at totallydazzle.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description box for you guys. She's giving away $50 in her beautiful little glam jewels and um, all you guys have to do is to comment down below. What was your favorite DIY in this video? Are you inspired to paint or create something new on your front porch, back porch, backyard? Um, and also just subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will also be putting more about this giveaway in the description box below. And I will also leave a link to um, Natalie's website and a coupon code for you guys um, to use. I love using her bling jewels. They're great for weddings and all kinds of fun stuff. And I use them in a lot of my projects. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, my little patio, back patio makeover. It was definitely a labor of love and I will still be adding and tweaking things. I have some cute little pink chairs that I ordered. I found them on sale. They were actually used on Amazon. But I got one in today and it looks really good. So I'm thankful for that. And then here is Bindi Bear. He wants to say hi to you guys. He's even dressed up in his little festive um, scarf that is tied around his neck with little pink flamingos and all that kind of fun stuff. I got him this little fun chew bone at Walmart. It's also a teeth cleaner. So that's a good thing for him. Um, but I hope you guys are loving this. And um, I just, oh my goodness, I had so much fun putting this together. I have not been so excited and inspired to do something. And the new Barbie movie is coming out. Let me know if you guys are excited about that. I played with Barbies as a little girl, but I never got to have a Barbie dream house um, when I was a little girl. I always wanted one. I don't know if my mom knew that or not, but I had a Barbie and I would like brush her hair and take really good care of her and like make, you know, little setups to where it seemed like maybe she had a house but I never had a Barbie dream house and I always really really wanted one so now I get to kind of create my own real life dollhouse and um, um, also look forward to some upcoming videos with fall coming up in the next couple of videos we're going to go shopping at michael's to look at the new fall goodies i am going to be doing some pink holiday fun and also some regular holiday diys on my channel that i'm really excited to share with you guys i've been on youtube now for five years and so definitely um, look at some of my other playlists i have so i have hundreds of videos of decorating on a budget crafting so many diys using dollar tree thrift store and inexpensive supplies. I'm in my little starter home that I've been in um, since you guys started with me. I've been in this home for 20 plus years. And here's my patio. Um, the interior part of my patio, we do have like a little roof over part of it. So I'm just thankful to have y'all here. But here is Benji Bear. He got hot while he was helping his mama. So I had to give him a nice little drink of water. He is such a good boy and such a good little helper. And I will tell you guys, um, I have to update you. He got really scared during the fireworks this year but we cuddled him and gave him a good snuggle and I think he got a little bit more brave because he had his uh, friends baby Theo and baby Archie here so anyway Benji Bear says hi and he loves you for all those Benji Bear fans out there I'm so thankful that y'all got to watch this video I'm going to be posting more snapshots from the patio makeover on my other social media platforms Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. I hope you guys are inspired to grab a can of paint or spray paint and just make something fabulous in your home. Um, I feel like our homes are our oasis. They're our place for us to come and unwind and relax and just enjoy ourselves. So um, listen, also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm hosting a $50 Totally Dazzled Bling Jewel giveaway. Way. 
thank you, Natalie. Um, she is a little small business and I love supporting small businesses. So um, she reached out to me and we're gonna be doing that. And so one of you guys can win that Bling Jewel giveaway. And also I'm gonna leave a code for a discount in the description box of this video as well. Um, and don't forget to follow me over my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I also have a fun little Facebook group page. It's Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Um, if you like silly projects like this and um, if you love to craft and decorate on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies, mainly and then some Hobby Lobby Michaels and Amazon and things like that so also check out your clearance section in your craft stores right now um, and you're decorating because as we draw close to the end of summer um, well we're midsummer currently but as we draw close to the end of summer they're gonna be a lot of things on clearance and I always encourage you guys to look at all the clearance sections because you're gonna find even more fabulous goodies on a budget so uh, thank you guys again for being here don't forget to subscribe comment read Remember that this is a social media platform and our words have power. So when you comment, light up this comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite summer drink is, summer treat, and what your favorite summer color is. As you guys can tell, my favorite so summer color is going to be hot pink, pink, and then I like to add in some limes and some aqua colors. So there is that. Um, also, some of my favorite summer treats are grapes. I love Love grapes I love having an ice water I carry around a little cup of ice water all the time and I also love um, a key lime pie I love coconut cream pie I love uh, ice cream sandwiches so those are some of my favorite summer treats um, I also love butter pecan um, we have a local store here at Andy's and so they do butter pecan concrete and it is so delicious so anyway I love y'all to the minute and back I am so blessed and thankful to have you guys here I hope you enjoyed my fun and fabulous Barbie Malibu dream house patio makeover um, and I did this all on a total budget just transforming the things that I already have with a can of spray paint and then adding in some of these little fun goodies um, and I'll continue to tweak it and update you guys as we go along and hopefully it completely get my pool crystal clear I have been working on it for weeks now um, so anyway but uh, thank you guys for being here remember be kind to yourselves be kind to one another and until our next video we'll talk to you later Bye. That I love you.